If the word cobra does not make shivers run down your spine, I assure you that you are in for a treat today. While most cobras, once threatened, tend to inject the venom with their bites, the spitting cobra actually shares a unique identifiable feature that allows them to spit the venom at its victim with 100% accuracy. Venom in snakes is commonly used by snakes to kill or hunt their prey. And in most cases, venomous snake attacks eventually lead to death or a form of paralysis by the victim. However, in one group of snakes, venom has adapted and changed from a means to prey to a defense mechanism. The spitting cobra residing in the continents of Asia and Africa are indeed fascinating but frightening creatures. Known as being one of the scariest creatures to come across, the spitting cobra does not even need to bite you in order to injure you. In fact, it has the ability to shoot venom even from a distance of three feet. I guess social distancing does not seem like a bad idea now, does it? especially once confronted with this breed of snake. Aiming for the eye, the venom released by the spitting cobra, becoming a neurotoxin, causes extreme pain and can possibly damage the mucous membrane and the cornea that could eventually lead to blindness. If that makes you squeamish, Research has shown that these creatures can actually shoot from a distance of two feet with 100% accuracy. The main thing that the spitting cobra is better known for is their signature defensive technique called hooding, causing the sides of their neck to flare out in a dramatic display. Spitting cobras are no slouches when it comes to marksmanship. The snakes are more likely to spit when a person taunts it especially when they are making jerky head movements. The snakes would turn their heads in the same direction that he'd start to move his and then start spitting in order to target the victim. As these species of cobra have modified fangs with small front-facing orifices, this explains how the venom can be forcefully expelled as a spray or spit, reaching the target's eyes up to 2.5 to three meters away. Contrary to popular belief, instead of holding their head still to spit, the snakes rotate it from side to side, spreading the venom over an area. As the venom is released, the snakes expel air from their lungs to blow the venom outward. Venom that is produced by the spitting cobra does not do much harm if it spits on your skin or mouth. However, that would not be the case if it gets in your eye. It has the ability to cause grave harm, leaving a person with searing pain and leaving a scar, the corneas that can leave you blind. Now, a newer study suggests that maybe the cobras aren't so picky when choosing their targets. Well, I guess we can say that the spitting cobra does not discriminate while choosing who to target. But something that is worth noting is that these snakes tend to target moving faces more likely. This can be because of the fact that they may feel vulnerable to be attacked. In fact, the spinning cobras don't specifically aim for the eyes, but for the center of whatever body part their tormentor puts closest to them. Often, this just happens to be the face. And it seems the snakes prefer more face-like round targets than pointy ones. They spit at those almost four times as much. And at least one eye gets hit by chance. Cobras can spray their venom over a larger area by turning their head while they spray and spit multiple times in a row, raising their odds of reaching the eye and without forcing them to go straight at them. While most snakes use venom to feed on other species, the spitting cobra exclusively uses it for defensive purposes. In a recent research, the venom of spitting cobras was analyzed to see what toxins can be found. 
An important point worth noticing is that venom spitting is indeed a rare trait that can be observed only in a small handful of closely related snake species. Yet this projectile defense system and the unique combination of toxins that inflict more damage has evolved three times independently, that two only within a small community. An interesting fact is that research findings actually suggest that it may have been so to fend off the assaults of our human ancestors. As this kind of defense mechanism is comparatively rare, it must have been stimulated by a very strong form of selective pressure. That selective agent could be our human ancestors. Spitting cobras have increased the concentration of a particular toxin family, known as the Phospholopase A2, in their venom, as opposed to the non-spitting counterpart. Since these cobras are spitting for defensive purposes, this suggests a defensive venom evolution in snakes. So, lastly, if you ever tick off a spitting cobra, it will most definitely contract the muscles around its venom glands and spit it out through holes in the tips of its fangs, right into your face. Furthermore, spitting cobras hardly ever miss their targets. Anyways, that is it for today. Thanks for watching this video, and do subscribe as well as click the bell icon to get notified of more of our interesting and informative videos about the animal kingdom. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below on what you think about the spitting cobra.